Polishing concrete is a great alternative treatment for floors when they can be kept clean, dry, and have a limited exposure to stain or etching chemicals. Aesthetically, concrete polishing is most appealing when the surface is free of any topical sealers. Although many mechanical and chemical shortcuts have been developed over the years, the true durability and longevity of polished concrete can only be achieved through following a methodical series of proven steps. Anything else will most likely fall short in regard to long-term appeal and performance. This video displays a general perspective of the process in addition to outlining why the initial cost of polished concrete is higher than conventional floor coverings. Inversely, the cost of maintenance and overall ownership is typically less expensive as the polish process creates a stronger and longer lasting surface. The first step, and arguably the most critical, is the initial grind, which is engineered to remove any topical contaminants in addition to exposing the base slab. Within this process, the floor flatness will increase, which eliminates any existing surface waves or imperfections that may have been created during the finishing process. Similar to refinishing wood, the second step repeats the same process as the initial grind, only replacing the diamonds with a finer grit, which should remove any scratches that may have been created in the initial grind. Grouting is done to fill surface voids inherent to concrete. Like a dense sponge, every slab will have small holes that, when polished, will negatively affect the surface reflection and durability. Some slabs have excessive voids, while others might have smaller pinhole voids. For this job, the decision was made to grout because the level of exposed aggregate increased the opportunity to develop larger holes. The next step will not only remove the excessive grout, but also the previous step's scratches. At this point, the surface is starting to display a smoothness similar to a honed stone. You may also begin to see slight light reflection which displays a uniformity not usually expected in concrete. After this step, and prior to applying Densifier, it's a good time to inspect the surface looking for any missed or rogue scratches that if not identified and treated now, will only visually become more pronounced. The densification process is designed to enhance the bond between aggregate materials within the concrete mix. This process introduces a chemical that expands small crystals between the fine aggregates, increasing the overall surface strength. Due to the concrete's increased strength, it becomes increasingly difficult to scratch, as well as providing an advantageous surface for enhancing the polishing process. However, the most beneficial feature in densifying a floor is sustained durability. From this action forward, every step encompasses a finer grit diamond, which methodically improves the shine and reflectivity of the surface. The higher the grit, the more enhanced the shine. Once you have achieved the desired shine, a burnisher or auto scrubber can be utilized to remove loose particles and fine dust. At this point, the polishing process is complete. If stain resistance is required, there is an option of applying a penetrating chemical that will provide some protection. However, applying a topical product, usually referred to as a guard, is not recommended. The whole purpose of a polished concrete slab is to provide a long-lasting and easy-to-maintain surface. Any topical material will eventually wear off and add a cost to the surface maintenance. Thanks for watching our installment today reviewing the general aspects of polishing concrete. If you'd like to learn more about this subject or many other surface preparation related subjects, we'd invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be notified when we release future tutorial videos. If there's a specific subject matter you'd like us to highlight, please feel free to let us know in the comment section.